Hi Internet, uh, this is Adam Davis and today I'm going to show you how to install Groovy um, if you're on a Linux or Unix based system um, and there's two ways well if you're on Ubuntu you could after installing Java um, you can use apt-get you just do sudo apt-get install Groovy and uh, that's one way but that actually won't get you the latest version I already have it installed um, so a better way is to use something called SDK man which used to be uh, the GVM the GVM um, it's now SDK man you actually just say SDK Say SDK list. No, I'm not gonna upgrade right now. Um, and that shows you the candidates that you're able to install with the SDK manager. And you just want to install Groovy. So you say SDK install Groovy. And it begins installing it for you. And it's very simple to use. And that way it manages the multiple versions of Groovy for you and that way you can always have the latest version of Groovy and past versions of Groovy. So right now I just installed Groovy 2.4.5 and if you wanted to I'm going to say no I don't want it to be set as default. If you want to list the versions of Groovy you have you say SDK list Groovy and it will list all the versions that are available and the ones you have installed have stars next to them or asterisks and if you want to see what current version you're using you say current and then it tells you what version you're currently using so right now I'm using 2.2.9 see I have a few other versions installed and then whenever you want to use a different version you just say use and then specify the version so I'm gonna go with 2.4.4 let's say and now you're using that version in the shell and of course SDK also has a bunch of other candidates um, of things you could install such as lazy bones, gradle grails, griffin and some other things like spring boot. Um, so I really uh, would suggest you use that but you really don't have to you there's other ways to do it you can just use your IDE if you use Eclipse or uh, you know IntelliJ IDEA uh, those both work um, they have support for Groovy as well as NetBeans and some others. Um, or you could just use, really all you need is the Groovy jar available um, when you're running the code. So there's lots of different ways to do it. And once you have Groovy installed, I highly recommend you fire up the Groovy console and start using it and try it out and that's it for today see you next time